Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the Hire Vet 2021 Virtual Job Fair Event Series. Today, we will be hearing from nine employers hiring for positions across multiple industries. Each presenter will speak for approximately five minutes to give you some information about their company, and we'll highlight the job openings they currently have. After presentations have concluded, we will then be transitioning into small group discussions with employers. Small group discussions will be held as one continuous 30 minute session, and you will be able to move freely from room to room. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. Now we will be hearing an opening statement from IDES Director Kristen Richards. Hello, my name is Kristen Richards and I am the Acting Director of the Illinois Department of Employment Security. On behalf of Governor Pritzker, the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, and participating employers, we want to welcome you to the Hire Vets 2021 virtual job fair. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced all of us to adapt to changing circumstances. This virtual event is part of that process change. Although I cannot thank and welcome you in person, please know that we are all here together in spirit and this event is just one of the many ways we work to support our nation's heroes. The Hire Best 2021 Job Fair is part of the Get Hired initiative that Governor Pritzker launched in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Illinois workforce partners have held over 160 events statewide with over 11,000 job seekers in attendance. Events have ranged from single employer recruitment opportunities to larger events with Fortune 500 companies. We know firsthand the value a veteran brings to an employer's team. Veterans bring mission-driven stability and dedication to companies who are fortunate enough to hire them. For this event, we have brought together 47 employers offering 962 employment opportunities across the state. This virtual series will provide veteran job seekers with one-on-one -on -one access to these employers, allowing job seekers to ask questions and giving those company representatives the opportunity to provide details about their open position. In addition, veterans will have access to virtual programs designed specifically to enhance their ability to secure a career. Please take advantage of this and join a virtual group. My hope is that this event helps connect you with the career opportunity you have been searching for. Thank you, and welcome to the Higher Vets 2021 Virtual Job Fair. Excellent. Well, one quick thing that I would like to note here before we kind of delve into the sessions, uh, you should have received this information via email when you registered for the event, but just something I want to draw your attention to. If you do not yet have the most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings downloaded, you'll wanna be sure to go ahead and do so if you have an opportunity. Um, the reason you wanna make sure that this most recent add-on is downloaded is that it will allow you to be able to utilize all of the features that Zoom does currently have to offer for breakout rooms, uh, most notably being able to move freely from room to room while those rooms are open. So. If you need to, to leave the session to download this, no worries. I'll be monitoring uh, the waiting room. So if you have to hop off to download this, again, go ahead and do so. Come and rejoin the session with the same link that was provided for you initially. I'll let you back in and then you'll be ready to go for the breakout rooms portion of the event if you have not yet done so already. Uh, our next kind of piece of this will be a presentation or a JVSG presentation, excuse me. Uh, and that will be kind of covering some of the services that uh, IDES has to provide uh, for uh, veterans. So Kevin, are you available to present? Hello, yes I am. Excellent, Kevin, you can begin whenever you're ready, sir. Okay, hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Kelly. My job at the Illinois Department of Employment Security is a veterans career coach. Disabled Veterans Outreach Program Specialist, DVOT for short. I've been with IDS since 2017, and before that I was in the Illinois Department of Human Rights. 
I served in the United States Marine Corps and my military occupation was 1812. I'm one A1 tank crewman. Rah. Next slide, please. Here you see my acronym as well as the lever. Uh, this stands for Local Veteran Employment Representative. Um, statewide, Illinois is authorized 22 DVOPs and 18 levers. We are considered jobs for veteran state grant staff, which is a federally funded program by the Department of Labor under the umbrella of IDES. Next slide, please. DVOP education experience requires knowledge, skill, and mental development equivalent to a completion of four years of college with courses in social or behavioral sciences, business administration, or marketing. Uh, it also requires, other than a dishonorable discharge from the armed service, armed services of the United States, which, with preference given to qualified disabled veterans and other qualified veterans in that order. Additionally, within 18 months of hire, every DVOP and lever must pass their federally mandated core competency courses at the National Veterans Training Institute. Lever education experience requires knowledge, skill, and mental development equivalent to completion of four years of college with courses in social or behavioral sciences, business administration, or marketing. It also requires one year of professional experience in marketing, public relations, or a related field. Lastly, requires other than a dishonorable discharge from the armed services of the United States. DVOP duties, DVOPs are tasked with providing veterans with individualized, individualized career and training services. Some of the other challenges that veterans may face when seeking job opportunities is significant barriers to employment. We call these SBEs for short. We love our acronyms, there's a lot of acronyms, which include issues like substance abuse, mental issues, mental health issues, and homelessness. Uh, DVOP specialists provide intensive services to meet the employment needs of disabled veterans and other eligible veterans with the maximum emphasis directed towards serving those who are economically or educationally disadvantaged, including homeless veterans and veterans with barriers to employment. DVOP specialists are actively involved in outreach efforts to increase program participation among those with the greatest barriers to employment. Next slide, please. Lever duties, the local veterans employment representative advocates for job seeking veterans by serving as liaisons with employers and training providers. Levers conduct outreach to employment to employers and engage in advocacy efforts with hiring executives to increase employment opportunities for veterans, encouraging the hiring of disabled veterans and generally assist veterans to gain and retain their employment. Lever staff conduct seminars for employers and job search workshops for veterans seeking employment. They also facilitate priority of service in regard to employment, training, and placement of veterans by all staff of the employment service delivery system. Next slide, please. Lastly, here you'll see an email address. This email is monitored by our business service managers and please send an email there if you have a question, comment, or concern. They will also, uh, the business service uh, manager will be able to uh, take your information and refer you to a DVOP and lever based on your geographical area. Please make sure you put your zip code in the subject line of the email to ensure they are able to get your intake to the appropriate office. We are here to meet the specific need of veterans, particularly veterans with barriers to employment. DVOP and Lever staff are thoroughly familiar with the full range of job development services and training programs available at the State Workforce Agency, One Stop Career Centers, and Department of Veteran Affairs Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment Program locations. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Kevin. And again, for any new folks that just joined the session, I just want to remind you that today's session is being recorded and it will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel uh, within 48 hours for you to be able to review. So if at any time any of the information that uh, is covered here today, um, you know, moves too quickly or for whatever reason, you, you know, weren't able to catch it all again, you will be able to see it all um, again in that recording within 48 hours. Thank you so much, Kevin. Much appreciated. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and cover here before we delve into our employer panel is just a brief overview uh, of the Illinois WorkNet Veterans Assistance Guide. Are you a veteran looking for work support and additional services? 
the Illinois WorkNet Veteran Assistance Guide has you covered. So let's go over how to get to the guide and see what's included. From the WorkNet homepage, which you can access by visiting IllinoisWorkNet.com, scroll down to the Guides and Tools section and select the icon for Veteran Assistance Guide. And selecting this guide, it'll take you to a new page and we'll show you how to navigate through the guide. You can select the arrows here to navigate through the slides, or you can select the hamburger menu in the middle and click on the entry you are interested in. And all of our guides on WorkNet begin with an overview slide that lets you know what all is included. On this first slide, we have links to the service finder, which is a directory you can search to find local organizations to assist you with career and work support services, and we also have a couple of searches, the career wages and trends and demand occupation search, which you can use to explore careers, their expected wages, job growth, and much more. And going to the next slide, we have an article that links to connecting to benefits and services. And this article encourages you to contact your local veteran service officer or VSO and VSOs provide free assistance to veterans when applying for benefits at a state and federal level. They can also provide you with resources on permits, transportation, education and training, and employment options. So be sure to access the link here and contact your VSO. This article also includes links for more information about health benefits, pension benefits, disability compensation, life insurance, and home loan benefits. And going back to the guide, our next article that we're going to take a look at is translating your skills. So you learned a bunch of skills in the armed forces, and now you need to take a look at how the skills you learned there can apply to other jobs and career opportunities. And within this article, there's a link to a website where you can enter your military occupational classification or MOC code to identify your military skills, search for titles and job descriptions from the MOC, and keep track of all this information using a military to civilian skills worksheet. This article also includes references to other Illinois WorkNet tools worth looking into, such as the Job Skills Guide that covers basic skills all employers want in employees, the careers, wages, and trends, and demand occupations tools that we just mentioned earlier, training programs in Illinois, and more. So the next article we're going to take a look at is the preparing and searching for a job after the military. So it's best to have a plan when searching for jobs, and this article includes several helpful resources and things to consider, such as using uh, resume, resume sample templates, an action verb list you can use to boost your resume, how to write an elevator speech, different outlets to find job listings online and off, marketing your skills, and more. And going back to the guide here, the next article we're going to take a look at is Veteran Assistance Resources in Illinois. The IDVA, or the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, focuses on helping veterans and their families by providing guidance on resources and services locally, statewide, and federally. You can visit their website to learn more from job and entrepreneur opportunities to housing assistance and more. IDES, or the Illinois Department of Employment, Security, of Employment Services, also helps veterans with job searches, unemployment insurance, tax credits, adjusting to civilian life, and more. Next, we have the Illinois Department of Human Services, the Department of Rehabilitation Services, which includes a listing of services, resources, and contact information for those needing assistance with disabilities. Additionally, this article includes several online veteran job searches that you can look through. And returning to the guide, we have a few more slides on organizations and websites that we just covered, such as the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, the IDES Veteran Services page, and IDHS's Rehabilitation Services. So get started today with the Veteran Assistance Guide on Illinois WorkNet. And as a reminder, we cover a new and different feature of Illinois WorkNet for job seekers, employers, and our workforce partners every Wednesday at 1 p.m. See you next time.
Excellent. Well, I think what we'll go ahead and do now is delve into our employer panel. But first, I want to go ahead and introduce uh, Mike Kilcommons with IDES. Mike, are you available, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, Daniel. I, I just want you to know uh, uh, your help with this event is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I'd like to say good afternoon to all, to our employers, to our staff, and welcome to our job seekers. My name is Mike Kilcommons. I'm an Air Force veteran. I work for the Illinois Department of Employment Security as a veteran business specialist, serving both Will and Kankakee counties. Uh, we're getting ready for our employer panel, and uh, the first we have on deck is a Mr. Daniel Throw, representing 3M. Daniel, good afternoon. How are you doing today, sir? Daniel, good. Is... thank you. Go ahead, sir. All right. Uh, if you would go to the uh, next slide. Well, my name is Daniel Throw. I'm the HR supervisor at 3M's distribution centers in DeKalb, Illinois. And we have four distribution centers here, um, upwards of about 3 million square feet, uh, about 1,000 employees. And this is the um, largest distribution for 3M uh, in the world. Uh, we ship, oh, approximately uh, 90,000, excuse me, um, uh, nine, about a hundred million boxes <laughs> uh, a year are shipped here, rounded up. And um, we have uh, several jobs that are available. All our new employees uh, start as a warehouse operator. And a warehouse operator is someone that drives a, a powered industrial vehicle or a PIV, uh, really a battery powered forklift. And then they're taking um, orders from our customers, which could be uh, customers like Target, uh, Costco, Walmart, and then uh, going throughout the warehouse, picking those boxes uh, that the customers want to buy to a pallet, and then staging that pallet in the shipping area. And then those are loaded on trucks and then shipped uh, all over the United States. Um, so that is a role that we uh, have. And... Um, it's called a job grade four. It starts at 1836 an hour. And then also um, for in, uh, people in work second and third shift, there's an additional uh, $1 an hour for second shift and $2 an hour for third shift. So uh, day one, third shift employees would be $20.36. Plus presently we have a $2,500 sign-on bonus for these positions as well. So we think that we're not only competitive, but uh, uh, a little bit above the market, and that's where we'd like to be. I won't go through all the schedules, um, but we have full-time positions Monday through Friday on second and third shift, and then lots of different part-time uh, positions that are available uh, for people that are have another job, only want to work part-time, or we have a lot of students at NIU and Kish uh, College. You go to the next slide. Thank you. Um, so requirements for the role is a high school or GED um, uh, degree from an accredited institution, uh, abilities to work on holiday, holidays if needed, and uh, the ability to lift up to 50 pounds, uh, frequent standing, sitting, and squatting. Um, Additional qualifications that could help you succeed in the role would be experience working in manufacturing or distribution facilities, but it's not required. And the next slide. So I talked about this. I, I wanted to uh, boil down uh, what a warehouse operator does. And uh, they're operating a powered industrial vehicles I mentioned to fill customer orders they're filling, packing, and labeling orders. Um, once employees are hired at 3M as a warehouse operator, they have the opportunity to post for other jobs as they gain experience, and uh, those promotions are based on seniority. Uh, there's also increases at six months and 12 months uh, to accelerate your pay once you start. And for full-time employees, um, we have full benefits of medical, dental, vision, 401k, sick time, short-term disability, long-term disability, life insurance, accidental death insurance, vacation days, and holidays. 
Um, so we think that we have a, a, a really great benefit uh, package and, and really the best that I've seen in my career. Uh, how do you apply? You go to 3m.com slash careers and uh, search for warehouse operator or search for jobs in DeKalb uh, with 3M. And if you go to the next slide, and that is the last one. Thank you. Danny, really nice job. Thank you very much for uh, taking part today. Uh, quick wow. reminder to the employers, uh, remember if you have any additional information or contacts or links, feel free to use the chat this way we can all view it. Um, the next employer we have up representing Cintas is a Miss Michelle Barnett. Michelle, how are you today, ma'am? I am doing good, thank you. Um, so yes, my name is Michelle Barnett. I am the Human Resources Manager here at the Romeoville Centas, and we also have Nadia Guzman on. She is our HR admin here in Romeoville. So I'm going to actually let Nadia kick it off. Um, so go ahead, Nadia. Thank you. So um, I will talk about a little bit about Cintas. Um, he, um, we have our headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio. We employ over 30,000 um, employees. Um, and we also provide a highly specialized products. Uh, you can actually go to the next slide, I'm sorry. Um, highly specialized products and services to over 1 million um, customers and range from independent auto repairs over to a large um, hotel chains. Also, we supply corporate, corporate identity uniform programs um, by providing entrance and logomats, restroom supplies, first aid, safety and protection products and services that get our customers uh, ready to open the doors and getting them ready for the workday. Um, and we also are, a proud to be, are proud to be a Fortune 500 company um, next slide, please. And we have different, um, within Cintas, we have different um, divisions. Um, here in, out in Romeoville, we are uh, part of the uniform rental division. We also have other locations within the Chicago land, land market. Um, as far as the uniform rental locations, Romeoville is one of them, Justice, Bedford Park, and Schamburg. As far of as far as our facility services, uh, they service mostly um, mats, dispensers, sanitizing products, and one of those locations is located in, in Maywood, along with um, here in Romeoville, Justice Bedford Park and Schomburg. Then we have our first aid and safety division. They are located in Woodridge and Elk Grove Village. They are they provide a mostly first aid cabinets and AED uh, machines, as well as training services for other um, businesses. Then we have our fire protection division. They are um, located in uh, Lombard. So they provide um, fire extinguishers and sprinkler uh, suppression systems and exit lights. Um, next slide, please. Then uh, with these are the, the current openings that we have here um, in Romeoville. We have a route service sales representative position, which is out on route driving or vehicles servicing our customers. And this is a four day work week, um, 10 hour day uh, work week for, for um, route service sales, uh, sales representatives. Then we have our service utility. Our service utility will be mostly in charge of installing of new accounts um, that are getting ready to install um, sanitizing products, uh, paper towel dispensers. And then we have out in our production area, we have the garment sorter position and second shift, which will be mainly in charge of sorting all of the clean products or clean garments, um, getting them getting them ready, um, uh, you know, sorting those garments by route, contract, date. Um, then we have our loader and loader position and second shift, which is mainly in charge of um, unloading all of our um, vehicles after they come back from route from picking the product from, from the customers. And then also we have a mat roller position available and second shift. Um, we have a garment hanger position. The garment hanger is in charge of um, 
hanging those garments as the clean garments as they come out of um, of the of the dryers, getting them ready for the sorters to to sort those those garments and getting them ready for to be loaded into the vehicles for the next day delivery. Then we have our maintenance uh, technician position and second shift as well. This one will be in charge of basically any preventative maintenance here in our, um, our equipment here in the location as far as washers, dryers, um, steam tunnels, um, wastewater pits, um, emblem machines. Then we have our stackroom utility position that will be mostly um, as new accounts came come into the, the system, the building, um, we need to uh, apply emblems, uh, name emblems, company emblems to the garment. So that's what they will be um, in charge of mainly uh, doing. Then we have an advanced, advanced management candidate position. And finally, we have our accounts receivable representative position, basically just um, account um, collecting past two accounts from customers. Um, next slide, please. And then I will hand it back to uh, Michelle so she can give a little bit of overview in our departments. Perfect. Thank you, Nadia. Um, so as Nadia talked through, we are a rental location. So our focus is on uniforms. So anything that we would wear as far as shirts and pants and then our um, facility services. So your mats, towels, cleaning supplies, paper products, um, mops, aprons, anything along those lines. So um, here in the rental location, we do have the four departments, the service, sales, office, and production. Um, Nadia talked through our current openings, but I just wanted to provide you guys with the positions we here, have here in Romeoville um, that could potentially be opening up as well. So. Um, we have a, lots of different opportunities here at Fintas. Um, if you go to the next slide, please. All right, so as far as benefits, we offer full-time hours. So um, all of our positions are full-time. Uh, we have considered doing some part-time, but most positions will be full-time here. Um, competitive pay, uh, career advancement opportunities, comprehensive and ongoing training. We have our 401k, profit sharing and our employee stock ownership program, our medical, dental, and vision insurance package, which you would get 30 days after being hired, um, uniform programs for partners, paid vacations and holidays. So we have um, all six uh, main holidays off and then no weekends. So those are some of the many benefits that we have. If you go to the next slide, please. So how to apply. Uh, you can visit our website at fintas.com slash careers, and you could search by either zip code or city. Um, and then from there, all of our openings will be available online to apply. Um, you will be able to create a profile and submit a resume. And then once we see your application come through, uh, depending on the hiring manager for the department, they will reach out to you to do a screening and we will set up an in-person interview from there. Um, our interview process consists of four interviews. We do a tryout day for all positions and that's usually completed after the second interview. We'll set up a day where you get paid $80 to come in, try out the position and make sure it lines up for what you're looking for. And then from there, we'll do references, background check, drug screen, um, all prior to beginning employment. If you go to the next slide, that is all I have for you. I included our email addresses on here if you have any further questions. Thank you. And that was a nice job, ladies. Thank you so much for your continued support. It's very much appreciated. Our next employer we have on deck representing the Somali is Mr. Alec Fektu. Alec, how are you today, sir? Hi there, I'm good. How are you, Mike? Good, good. All righty. So my name is Alec Fecto. I'm the HR coordinator here at Smalley Steel Ring. Uh, if you could go to the next slide, please. Uh, if you could go to the next one, actually. Thank you. Uh, so who is Smalley? Uh, Smalley is based in Lake Zurich uh, in the northwest suburbs, and we are the market leader in the industrial ring and wave compression spring manufacturing business. Uh, we supply the aerospace, automotive, and other industrial markets. We pride ourselves in providing a very clean, bright, and open environment with music playing throughout, along with air conditioning. Uh, this is throughout our 300,000 square foot manufacturing facility right here in Lake Zurich. 
Um, we are complimented on our great environment often. Uh, Small A Steel Ring Company is a privately held family owned business with a positive team oriented culture. Organization focuses on quality, integrity, precision, and reliability. Uh, Small A offers opportunities both in the office and manufacturing floor. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit later in the presentation here. Our team in the office ranges from engineering, accounting, IT, customer service, purchasing, among many other positions. You go to the next slide, please. Thank you. So here are some of our current openings in the shop. Uh, I do want to mention that we do have a 2K sign-on bonus right now. Um, so I'll go into the positions a little bit. Machine operators we have available on first, second, and third shift at the moment. You can see the hours right there next to them. Uh, machine operators are responsible for running the production of various parts, reading blueprints, utilizing calipers and micrometers to measure parts as they come off the machine. Uh, there is some lifting involved in this. Uh, there are also several openings, so please don't be discouraged. There are many openings for this position. Also, uh, set up machine operators. Uh, skilled experience with manufacturing experience is preferred. Uh, we also have several openings for this on first and second shift. Uh, setup machine operators are responsible for machine setup and running automatic or semi-automatic machines, reading blueprints, preparing machines with the correct wire, and using a computerized system for product movement. Uh, minimum one to three years as a setup operator experience is required. Uh, general labor and material handlers are some of the entry-level positions that we have. Uh, no experience is required for these. We have several openings, uh, mostly on first and third shift for those. Inspectors, we do have some openings on third shift. Uh, inspectors are mostly responsible for inspecting products, following company industry standards, uh, utilizing different measuring tools, as well as performing and checking calibration of, of sorry, inspection instruments. Finishing operators, uh, mechanics are a great fit for this role. So if you have any mechanical experience, um, this, this is a great role for you. Uh, we have openings on first, second, and third shift. They're responsible for heat treatment, degreasing of parts, oil dipping parts, uh, utilize, utilizing heat treat ovens, deburring parts, and reading blueprints. Uh, the packager role, we currently have one opening on third shift. Uh, the packager is responsible for preparing our product for distribution or shipment by utilizing various packaging methods, uh, such as roll packing or handbagging. Uh, this position, I do want to say, is required to stand most of the day. It requires a lot of traveling around different areas of the warehouse, uh, so please be aware when you're applying. Uh, here are some of the benefits that we offer to all of our employees. Uh, we do offer a competitive compensation and benefits package, including competitive hourly pay and base salary, 401k savings plan with company match, profit sharing. Uh, we also have Blue Cross Blue Shield Health, dental coverage, vision, critical illness, company paid life, STD and LTD, supplemental life insurance. Uh, we also have a tuition reimbursement program, as well as PTO with 10 company paid holidays. And here's some of our contact information right up top. You have our main company number. Uh, below that, you have our careers page on our website. You should be able to see all of our open positions there as well as what shift they're on. Uh, you can also text us at the number below that if that's what you prefer. Uh, you can also reach out to either I or Lauren Cardi, uh, the other recruited here, uh, by email, and both of our email addresses are down there. Uh, we're very excited to partner with our veteran community, and I really hope to hear from all of you. And that is it. Thank you. Alec, wonderful job. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate your support. And the next employer we have on deck representing Optics Planet at Centria is Mr. Hugo Murillo. Hugo, how are you today, sir? Doing great. Thanks for asking. What do you have for us today? Yeah, so my name again is Hugo. I'm a senior talent acquisition specialist here at Centria, also known as Optics Planet. Um, just here to share a little bit more about us. So you can go to the next slide, please. So who are we? We are a growing and evolving company managing multiple e-commerce websites across various industries, as well as having uh, different types of products here. 
Um, there's never a dull moment here when we're developing strategies and implementing them across the, one of the largest e-commerce destinations in America, including opticsplanet.com, campsaver.com, devour.com, and uh, many more. So we do carry over, uh, over 4,000 brands across 2,000 different product categories, but we tend to focus a lot into the hunting and camping side of things. So that's probably, if you guys have ever heard about us, that's what we tend to be, but it's essentially anything greater outdoors is what we tend to uh, focus a lot of our time in. So you can please go to the next slide. So right now our current job openings, you can see kind of here on the screen, uh, but I do wanna share that we also have large distribution centers across uh, uh, here in the United States, including the closest one and one of the largest one in Aurora, Illinois, that we do tend to hire mostly gen uh, general labor, pick, pack and put away. Right now we are doing a um, big push for our seasonal hiring. Um, but again, we also do have corporate positions in our Northbrook office. Um, we are working from remote right now and going to be adopting a hybrid model moving, uh, moving forward. But again, you can see our current job openings. And in the end of the screen, you will see um, our careers website that you can come in there and see the uh, full job description in each position. Next. And here are some of the benefits we can offer. Um, that, uh, there's more as well, but again, what we want to do highlight is that we do offer group health and vision insurance, group dental insurance, uh, 401k plan, life and um, other great benefits, paid holiday, flexible time off, EAP program, long-term disability, pet insurance, and um, other great um, um, amenities that we have on, in, in office. Um, and then also an employee discount. So if there's any hunters and campers there, we do offer great benefits, um, anything on our website. Why work for us? We um, have won numerous awards, but uh, one of the ones that we wanna highlight is best and brightest place to work in Chicago, past three years. Um, again, the employee discount purchase program that we offer, uh, flexible work schedule, we are obviously, like I mentioned, a growing organization with uh, great development opportunities. And uh, a, a lot of our positions, again, are remote. Um, and then again, moving forward, we will be adopting a hybrid model. So best of both worlds. So where to apply? Um, we do have our a careers page there, um, but uh, that's where all of our positions that we are currently have open um, can be seen. And there's my contact information. So feel free to reach out if you have any of your questions. Um, recruiting at Accenture will it be the best place for you to send your resume um, and contact details for, me, for us to reach out and have a further conversation. And Hugo, that's a really nice job. And thank you for joining us today. Our yep. next employer we have on deck Kelly Peterson, representing the Rostolia. Kelly, welcome, how are you today? I'm good, how are you guys? I am Kelly Peterson, Senior Tech Talent Acquisition Specialist with Rostolium. If you can go to the next slide, please. All right, so most of you hopefully have heard about Rostolium. If not, we are celebrating 100 years. Um, we started off really by Robert Ferguson. He noticed some um, rust on his boat, and really we've worked since then to go ahead and have a rust pre preventative paint, and Rustolium was born. We are part of RPM back in 1994, which RPM has a lot of subsidiaries that manufacture and market specialty coating paintings. A um, couple of the companies that you probably are familiar with would be DAP and Tremco, just to name a couple of our PM companies. Next slide, please. So our family of brands, um, really, if there's a surface, there's Rust-Oleum. We have Rust-Oleum. We have Saps Rust, Paint, Painter's Touch, Universal, Epoxy Shield, Barathane, Zinzer, Watco, Crud Crudder, Rock Solid, Wipe New, Testers, Moldex, Wink, Miracle Sealant, Mean Green, just to name a few. Next slide, please. And then, all right, here's just kind of a highlight of um, our current openings. So I just kind of broke it up by segments. We have a lot of openings in marketing. 
really from brand managers. So they are the ones that are going to go ahead and come up with ideas for new products, really from product development all the way to ideation on to commercialization. We have several positions in our social media department. So we are looking for a social media, social media manager, social media, looking at SEO, social media listening, social media strategy, just some of the highlights for that position. The e-commerce and merchandising manager. So using A-B testing, developing websites and experience with um, email service provider is key content and community lead we would be looking for um, someone that's writing our content for all of our social media pages our digital and social creative director that is going to be someone that is taking shooting our pictures um, putting them on our social media sites demonstrating how our products work and then from there, we get kind of into the administrative support. And we are looking for an executive admin assistant that is gonna be providing support to our CEO. So strong calendar management, travel arrangements, and then prior C-suite administrative support would definitely be helpful. We are looking for a payroll specialist for our human resources department. I'm processing payroll for multi-state, wage garnishment, state taxes, and union payroll. And then we also have a regulatory associate open. They're kind of looking at the labels, making sure what we put on the labels is actually correct and working kind of with the pesticide information. Um, next slide, please. And we also continue with supply chain. So we have a brand sourcing manager that person would really be responsible for sourcing uh, new products, vendor management and project management experience, associate corporate buyer, prior buying experience, vendor management, and they will be plan and purchase finished goods. For sales, we have quite a few sales analysts open and they are really doing data analysis, reviewing point of sale information making recommendations on the information that they reviewed and providing general sales support to the team. And then engineering, we do have a quality engineer position that's open that typically works on new product launches, looks at the quality of our products. It's going to review consumer data and provide recommendations on how we can better our products to ensure quality. And then manufacturing, there's too many of them to list and we have all positions open in various locations. Next slide. Go, if you wanna apply, go to rostolium.com, our careers page. And then you can always contact me to learn more if you have any questions or anything. That's it. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. And it was a wonderful job. Oh. Thank you for your continued support. Sorry, I'll else? cover over the benefits real quick. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then we do have benefits. Um, we have three different insurance plans to cover from a 75, 25, an 80, 20, and a 90, 10 plan all through Aetna. We have dental as well. We do have two different dental plans to choose through and that's encompassed with our Aetna plan, with our medical plan. We have flex spending, so you can save money aside for uh, incidentals, over-the-counter prescriptions, um, co-pays, anything like that. We also do have a great 401k and a pension plan. So that's right, you've heard me correctly. We do have a pension plan. As long as you've been with the company after five years, you would be eligible for the, to enroll in that. And then we also have several other benefits that aren't listed. These are just the, the biggest highlights. Are we all set, Kelly? We are, yes, thank you. And thank you very much. Never leave out the important stuff. Thank you very much for your support. We appreciate it. Uh, next up, we have representing a state agency. We have Ms. Evia Ortega representing DCFS. 
Miss Ortega, how are you today? Welcome. I'm good. How are y'all doing? Good, good. Love hearing from you. <laughs> My pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us. Um, so yeah, we're with the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services, we're a public social service agency. Um, we basically are in charge with enabling families to ensure the safety, well-being, and permanency of the abused and neglected children in our care, and working with families and communities to protect the state's vulnerable children from maltreatment. So more people know us as we're the ones that investigate allegations of abuse and neglect. We license daycares and manage the foster parent program. Next slide, please. So some of our more known positions that we're always trying to fill are our child protection specialist, which is our investigator, our child welfare specialist, which is our case manager, and our daycare licensing representative. However, we've got a lot of behind the scene positions that people don't necessarily think about when they consider DCFS. Um, some of those positions are things like our child welfare nurse specialist, um, which we require registered nurses for, um, some IT positions, information systems analysts and information services specialists. We've got office associate positions, um, public service administrator positions, the different options determine what their specialties are. Those are supervisory positions. So our option six are basically running our direct service offices over those investigators and case managers and daycare licensing reps. And then our 8L, for example, is over our legal section. So we're hiring technical advisors. So those are our attorneys. And we've got a whole slew of other job titles that are posted on our website, constantly changing. Um, we've got things out there like um, grounds and laborers. Uh, we've got uh, paralegal assistants, human resources, just to name a few more. Um, so it's, it's oh, again, as Ted mentioned earlier in the presentation, a plethora of um, positions that are available throughout the state of Illinois. Uh, next slide, please. Some of the benefits of being a DCFS employee is that we cover our employees as of day one under our employer-sponsored insurance plans, which are health, dental, life, and vision. Um, we've got paid vacation, personal, sick time, and holidays, and we actually enjoy 14 paid holidays a year. We have a retirement savings plan and a pension. Um, we do have a tuition reimbursement program, and we've got a lot of promotional opportunities. So how the state of Illinois works is that every agency is kind of sister agencies with other state of Illinois agencies. So while we want you to grow with DCFS and definitely promote with us, uh, know that you also have promotional opportunities between other state of Illinois agencies. So you're not limited to um, just growing with our agency. Again, although we hope that that's what you do, um, you can also move around to other state of Illinois agencies and your benefits will follow you around from one agency to another. Next slide. So if you have any questions after today's presentation, know that you can reach us on the recruiters by emailing us at dcfs.employment.illinois.gov. Our vacancies are posted at illinois.jobs2web.com. And I really advise everyone to make a reminder to check that website on a weekly basis because postings come up and go down all the time and you don't wanna miss anything. If you need um, career guidance, you can reach out to the CMS Examining Counseling at that 312-814-2398 number. And that's all for us. Evie, a nice job and thank you so much for your help. We really do appreciate you joining us today. Our, our next employer we have is Catholic Charities of Joliet and representing them is their director, Ms. Linda Smith and presenting them to, for them today is a Michael Cannon. A warm welcome to both you and a Michael, what do you have for us today, sir? Hey, good afternoon. Thank you for having us. Excited to be here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and head on to the next slide, I can tell you a little bit about what we do. Uh, so here at Catholic Charities, you know, we are uh, a, a provider of assistance uh, to the people in our communities. Um, so working with Catholic Charities, it gives you an opportunity to really make a difference in the communities and, and that you're a part of. Um, we are a mission driven, uh, focused on positive results for people. Uh, and we believe that people should be treated with dignity and respect. Um, we are a faith-based organization uh, providing services to people in need, calling of others a goodwill to do the same. Uh, that is our official mission statement. Uh, but, you know, we always want to make sure that we call out that we are an equal opportunity employer. So, uh, you know, you don't need to be Catholic to work with us. Uh, we, we do not discriminate in our employment uh, or with the services that we provide to the communities around us. Um, so the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about uh, those services are and where we uh, where we provide those services. So 
Um, right now, we're, we're, uh, we've got over 260 people employed uh, in our main uh, areas are working with our aging and disability services. Um, we have our community services program, which also provides, uh, breaking that down, provides veteran services, uh, homeless prevention, transitional housing, uh, and uh, our, we have a, a couple of shelters as well. Um, we have our counseling division. Um, a, a big part of what we do is our early childhood services and Head Start that makes up a, you know, a little over 50% of what we do uh, throughout the communities. And then also our mobile food pantry. So, um, you know, as of 2019, you know, we served 60,000 clients uh, in that year. So, so we are a busy organization. Uh, we operate in seven different counties. Uh, so Will, Grundy, DuPage, Kendall, Kankakee, Ford and Iroquois County. So you can see on the map there, this is where our footprint. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so, you know, why should you join our team? Um, you know, we've talked about that uh, ability to get back to, uh, back to the community, um, but there's, we've got some great benefits as well. Um, you know, we are accredited through the standards for excellence, uh, which really holds us to a high tier uh, of expectations within our organization. Um, we uh, provide lots of time off through work-life balance uh, with holidays, vacation days, personal days. Uh, we actually have 12 holidays, uh, paid holidays that we offer throughout the year. Um, our uh, benefits package, uh, looking at our medical insurance, dental insurance, and vision, uh, which our uh, medical and dental are both PPO plans. Um, we do provide those benefits to any employees who work at least 30 or more hours a week. So you do not need to be a 40 hour a week employee to access those benefits. Um, we have company paid life insurance and long term disability. So the agency covers that uh, at no cost to the employer employee. Um, we have a 403B retirement plan with employer contributions that you uh, uh, would automatically be enrolled in when eligible. Um, our education reimbursement is up to $1,000 a year. Uh, and then we also offer our employee assistance program and uh, global fit, uh, gym discount program. So lots of great opportunities uh, out there for you. The next slide, please. So some of our open positions. Um, you know, we've got a uh, the, we've got a list here. Uh, some of these positions will have full and part time. There may be multiple positions available, which could also mean there may be multiple locations where they're available as well. Um, a good example is that caseworker position, the first one. Um, so that that may be working at one of the uh, as a residential homeless services at one of our shelters. Uh, you know, here in Juliet, um, we've got adult protective services positions within that uh, role as well. That would be out of the Kankakee location. Um, so the different duties um, would have different requirements as well. Um, the residential homeless uh, services. Uh, you would just need a high, high school diploma or equivalent is required for the position. You know, a bachelor's would be preferred, uh, but not necessarily required. So the adult protective services position itself, you know, those would require a bachelor's based on the duty. So, um, you know, pop in our room, we can talk about the different positions that you may be interested in and what that would, uh, what that would entail. Um, we've also got uh, a supervisor position in our adult protective services. Um, we've got uh, substitute classroom aides at our Head Start facilities, uh, office secretary, which would also be at our Head Start facility, um, the coordinator for our on ombudsman volunteer program. Uh, so that's working with uh, individuals that, uh, elderly in the nursing homes and, and providing their care. Um, we've got emergency services and homeless prevention specialist positions that are full time. We've got some part time receptionist positions. Um, we have a specialist position in our community based program. Um, family advocates. Uh, we've got positions for teachers and associate teachers that would be full time. And again, we have multiple positions, so those could be at uh, at different locations as well. Um, we have a manager for our telephone reassurance program, which would be a full time position. Um, our maternal child health educator is also a full time position. And we've got a full time therapist position as well in the mental health and disabilities intervention, which would also be a part of our uh, early childhood services division. Then uh, on to the, uh, the next slide. So how can you apply for our jobs and uh, learn a little bit more about them? Uh, we've got the link here, uh, catholiccharitiesdoliet.org. Uh, you'll click on employment, and then you can search through those opportunities to find that uh, it's going to match uh, your skills and your talents and, uh, you know, the area where you'd like to uh, join us and uh, make a difference. So uh, you'll be able to upload your resume and a letter of interest online as well. Um, so that really is the best way to reach us. Um, to, to get that service and, and get that prompt, uh, prompt 
review and, and response. So uh, we do encourage you all to go in and take a look. And uh, we will be in the room at, at the, uh, for the uh, breakout sessions and you can come in and we can talk some more. And I believe that is the last slide. Michael, thank you. That was a job well done. And thank you for representing Catholic Cherries. It's greatly appreciated. And our last employer, but certainly not our least employer, representing U.S. Foods is Miss Deb Creighton. Deb, how are you today? Hey there, everybody. I'm doing great today. And I don't know, there's pros and cons with being the last presenter. Because I'm like, wow, everybody had so many good things to say. But I'm just going to wing it here with U.S. Foods. Um, I, I'm kind of more of a just a, an ad hoc uh, kind of presenter. Um, so the next slide is basically like, who is U.S. Foods? So who are we? Um, and the next slide will tell you that we have um, 300,000 customers, um, including independent and multi-unit multi restaurants, healthcare, hospital entities, and educational institutions. So basically, if you think whoever makes food, or sells food could be one of our customers. Um, it's everything from hotels to hospitals to educational institutions like universities um, and things like that. So it's really a, a gamut of, of the, the people that we um, provide food to. I'm actually, my name is Deb Creed and I'm an HR generalist in our distribution center in Bensonville, Illinois, lovely Bensonville, right, right by the airport. Um, but we're not too far away from our corporate headquarters, which is in Rosemont. So we do get a lot of um, opportunities that come our way that our folks in the distribution center say, hey, I'm gonna try a corporate job. So um, a lot of times we promote within at US Foods, which is fantastic, I think, um, for career development. Um, the next slide will tell you, it'll kind of show you um, where we are. So U.S. foods is everywhere. I think that would be basically the, the good way of saying that. Um, we have, I mean, not only do we have distribution centers or corporate, or we have places where it's like support offices, like um, finance, you know, things like that. But also we have specialty locations. So, you know, if you are someone that is in the meat cutting business, guess what? We got something for you. So, um, so we're, we're kind of diverse. If you think of all the different things that U.S. foods encompasses, we really do everything um, that, you know, if you don't like to have a desk job, that's okay. We got plenty of other kind of jobs um, for that. But hey, if you do want a desk job, we got stuff, we got um, things for you, for you as well. Actually, that brings me to my um, open rules right now. Got a couple interesting ones. We have a culinary equipment specialist. So a culinary equipment specialist. And that is some somebody that will say, you know, new restaurants opening up, what do you need? Well, you need a stove, you need this to be over here, you need some counters, you need you know, refrigerator, freezer, oh, we got some great stuff, like that kind of thing. So culinary equipment. Um, and then we also have a beverage chemical coordinator. And I, I, it took me a while to figure out what this one was. And it's basically soda machines, soda machines, dishwashers, you know, they all need product, right? So if the, one of those things breaks down, who do you call? Will you call your, um, your, your U.S. foods and see what kind of product we can get you? Or maybe we need a service call, you know, that, that kind of thing. So it's, it would be great for somebody to have that role that maybe was in the restaurant business, but doesn't really want to be, you know, restaurant businesses are tough, right? It's, it's a, they don't get very many holidays. Um, so if you feel like you've, you've been that round for a while, but you'd rather have like a day job or maybe a sell job, then this might be a, a good one for you. So that was the BevChem um, coordinator. Now we do also have sales jobs. So we have um, some operation jobs like selectors, always looking for um, great selectors. Now that is a night selector role that would be start at like seven o'clock and end I don't know, around two or so, whenever the job is done, honestly. Um, it just kind of depends on what day of the week and how many cases our customer needs, right? Um, and then we also have a day warehouse manager uh, position open, and that's pretty unique. We had some internal promotions, and it led to the day warehouse manager um, being open. So um, you can always look for those roles as well. All right, so getting back on track with my U.S. Foods um, presentation here. So the next slide will tell you about our U.S. foods, um, our, basically our culture statements. So it's um, all our, all our um, employees know everything about our U.S. foods way and what that looks like. Um, we expect excellence, we stop waste, we team up, and we talk straight. Um, and in, in uh, just recently, they added 
they added, you matter, because we had to kind of focus on that, right? We have to make sure that we always remember, we always think we remember, but hey, you matter, right? So it's something like we refocused and um, we started thinking about that and bringing that to the height. Every huddle we have, every meeting we have, we always ask, hey, what, what, what kind of culture, what kind of culture stories do we have, right? So we always want to bring that to the forefront and appreciate others around us. All right, and then I'm going to take basically through the website. So the next page you'll see, you just go to, it's easy as this, you go to usfoods.com slash careers. And you're going to see not only the open positions, um, like that next slide will say, the open positions, but also like what's out there, like what kind of jobs does US Foods have, you know? So it's not just the open roles, but it's all our roles. So if you're thinking, oh, I really want to, you know, work in transportation, or I really want to work in ops, but I don't know what that means. Like, do you have to be a delivery driver to work in, you know, uh, transportation? Not really. There's all sorts of jobs. There's people that have to build the trucks to make sure that the product is on the truck correctly, or, you know, things like that. So there's so many different roles in our um, different facets of U.S. Foods that it's, a good opportunity to go to the US Foods website and kind of look that over a little bit. Now, our next slide is going to tell you, oh, yes, this is the why I pulled this one. Now, this is right from our website. Um, I pulled this one because of that little video that's not really a video, it's just a screenshot, but um, it tells you kind of like the day in the life of a driver. And we also have like a day in the life of a selector. So if you're wondering, what does their day really look like? And how hard is it? Um, could I do this kind of thing? Yeah, the, the job description is going to tell you a lot of information. But to kind of see it in action, I feel is a whole different, um, you know, a whole different ball of wax. So um, there's that for you. I thought that was a, a nice little call out. Um, and then the next slide. I wanted to bring you, there's that one like header box kind of in the middle, it's gray. And one of it says uh, military veterans. I'm like, hey, this is perfect. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, so if you click that box, it kind of tells you um, what we do for our veterans, right? And the one thing that always comes to mind is that we have employee resource groups and that is held, it's, the associates run them like there's nothing with, from corporate about it and they kind of say you know are you know are you a veteran are you an ally of veterans let's to get together how can we support how can we talk about it it's kind of just like a a group of folks with the same kind of mission, right? Um, and then they also bring awareness to everyone else. So sometimes they'll have events like, um, one time our chefs, we do have chefs on staff because they help our customers make it, quote unquote. Um, and we had a resource group meeting, it was like a luncheon and they took MREs and they made it into like fancy dinners. So it was kind of like they told us their stories about being in the military and whatnot. And then they said, this is, you know, I, this is what I'm gonna do with this MRE, watch this guys, right? Of course. They had to add a few other things to it to make it, you know, glamorous. But um, it was just something that was like, that's really neat. I, I'll never forget that. It was probably a year ago that we did that. And it, it's, it was like yesterday to me. So um, and also on that slide, you'll see in the picture on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see how your skills translate. And then I did add the next slide that kind of shows you um, what that means. So it's like, hey, your military specialty was this. So what does that kind of relate to U.S. foods? So, and it's a long list. It's not just this list. There's like three pages of it. So, um, but I just took a screen grab of the first page. Um, and I thought that was a really neat thing because sometimes from what I'm hearing is that people come back to the States or, you know, they kind of come back to, you know, to you to, and they're not quite sure how they fit. Um, and so we kind of um, put that down a little bit. We're like, we're going to say not, we put it down on paper um, that uh, we, we wanted to make sure that, hey, if you were this, then you maybe try this, right? It's not going to be a perfect fit, but just something that you might want to consider. Um, and I think that is my last slide. I don't know how, how fast I talked, but um, really appreciate the opportunity to um, speak to the veterans. I will be in the breakout room and I, and I hope you join me and I hope I can and help you find um, some different avenues for, you know, your next role. Thank you so much. Well, thank you to U.S. Foods and an even bigger thank you to Deb. What a wonderful job. Thank you very much. And to all our employers, I just want to say that as veterans, we're humbled by your participation. We really are. And we're grateful, sincerely. Um, that concludes our employer panel. And I'll be handing it back to Daniel, who will be facilitating our breakout rooms. Are you ready for us yet, Daniel? 
always, Mike. And uh, thank you for taking those MC duties there in my stead. Much appreciated, man. You did a great job. And I have to admit, I'm going to be quite frank, it was nice to take a little bit of a break from that. So thank you, Mike. I appreciate that, man. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go directly into our breakout rooms portion of the event here. So we're just going to kind of lay a little bit of ground rules, a little bit of what the process flow is going to look like and get you all just real quickly familiarized with what this will look like before we go ahead and open these up. So if you were here at the beginning of the session, you would have already seen this slide that I'm showing currently. Again, just want to reiterate, if you do not have the most recent Zoom client for meetings add-on downloaded, uh, that you go ahead and do so. If you have to leave the session to do so, again, um, I'll be monitoring the waiting room. So you can always download that come back, rejoin, we'll get you back in the session. And then you can, um, of course, then be able to move freely between the rooms that we do have open. This slide here, you'll see just a couple of screenshots that'll help you kind of navigate what it's um, like trying to pull up the breakout rooms, how to join them, so on and so forth. So one thing to note here, the screenshots that I have provided are off of my laptop. So if you are on a laptop, desktop, something similar, this should be what you see. Um, you move your cursor as such. What'll come up when, when I open up the breakout rooms is um, an icon in the toolbar. You'll see the red square here. You click on that icon. What it should do is bring up a window. And as you'll see here, room one, two, three, four, et cetera, that will be the employers that we have on the line. And then what you'll want to go ahead and do is then you'll see the red circle we have here. You'll want to click join uh, for whatever room, you know, the employers that you want to meet with. Uh, what you'll then go ahead and do is rinse and repeat. So what I mean by that is when you're ready to switch rooms, um, again, you'll just make sure that the toolbar comes up by moving your cursor. You'll click that breakout rooms icon. That window will pop up again, and then you'll do the same thing. Um, ad nauseum, obviously, until you've met with all of the employers that you want to meet with. One final note to make here, uh, if you're joining via a mobile device, so tablet, cell phone, anything from uh, anything kind of in that um, vein, if you will, you may not see the breakout rooms icon when I open up the rooms. You may have to click a tab such as the one off to the right hand side that says more here. If you click on that, typically what comes up is a drop down menu, and one of the options will be breakout rooms. You'll see it. Uh, you'll click on that, and then the process should be similar as far as the window coming up with available employers, selecting join, and then you'll just again repeat that process to go to another room. If for whatever reason you're having an issue joining any of these rooms, I can manually assign you. You'll just have to drop the name of the employer that you want to meet with into the chat. Um, one important thing to note, if that is the route that we have to go with you, um, what you'll have to do is come back to the main session here. So uh, I do believe it's in the right hand corner, there'll be a red icon, it'll say, leave a session, um, or something similar to that, you'll click on that, and you'll have two options that'll pop up, it'll say, you know, uh, leave breakout room or leave session altogether or something similar to that. You'll just want to choose to leave the breakout room. It'll kick you back into the main room, which we're in now. Then you'll have to tell me who you want to be assigned with. And again, that would be the process we'd follow if for whatever reason you're not able to utilize the feature that we just covered. And um, I will keep this screen up on the screen during the duration of the breakout room so you can refer to it and uh, those instructions as to how to do so. Uh, so what we have here is just a quick overview again. Each employer will be assigned to their designated breakout room. We'll have a member of um, the IDES team as volunteer in each room for basic troubleshooting purposes. Uh, for the purpose of today's session, we're going to keep things to 30 minutes because uh, we did go just a little bit over schedule. Um, so instead of 45 minutes, we're looking at 30 minutes. Again, that last bullet point there, free to move between rooms. And of course, you're able to unmute yourself as you see once you've entered a breakout room. You can also turn your camera on. That leads me to our uh, next slide here and final slide. 
Um, just be mindful of how much time you're taking from an employer. If you see that there's a lot of other job seekers in the room, uh, just be sure to ask your question and place yourself back on mute uh, when you've received a response. As you can see there, you can share your video on camera, but you know, just be aware everybody can also see that as well. So, you know, be respectful, be professional, be courteous. Uh, if for whatever reason you choose not to, we do have the option, as you'll see there, um, to issue a verbal warning. You'll see uh, if, you know, for whatever reason you choose to disregard that warning, we can permanently place you on mute. As kind of a last resort there, once you've been placed on mute, you'd still be theoretically able to enter any questions that you have into the chat. Uh, but again, remember, if that happens, you will no longer take priority status. Uh, the employer rep will answer your question as time permits. If you use the chat to cause further disruption, staff in that room will have the ability to eject you from the session. And then the way Zoom is currently set up, if you are ejected from the session, you will not be permitted uh, re-entry. So those are just a few of the ground rules we have here. Again, I don't anticipate we'll have any issues wanted you all to be aware of that. Once the session has ended, we will come back to the main room here. I will be covering um, one final item and then we will be closing out the session. Uh, so do, play, do please plan, excuse me, to stick around for that. Um, again, we'll be in the rooms for 30 minutes. If you look up in the right-hand corner, once I've opened those rooms, uh, there will be a timer uh, set to 30 minutes. It'll count down. Once we've reached that 30th minute, then uh, there will be a 60 second countdown. Once that has elapsed, it will kick us back into the main room, which we're in now, and then we'll go ahead and do the closeout that I already mentioned. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open up these rooms. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free uh, to throw them into the chat, we'll get them answered. Those rooms should now be open and we do have employers moving in there at the moment. And Daniel, looks like you're in the main session here. You'll want to go ahead and accept the prompt that was sent to you. There should be a prompt that was sent that'll allow you to join the room. Okay, all employers are now in their rooms. And again, if we have any folks that are still in here in the main session that are having troubles, let me know who you'd like to meet with and I can get you sent there. I'll go ahead and read off who we've got. So we've got 3M, Cintas, Smalley, Optics Planet, Rustoleum, DCFS, Catholic Charities of Joliet, and US Foods. So if any of those are of interest to you, throw them into the chat and I'll make sure to get you sent there.
Welcome back, everyone. Looks like we do have the majority of folks uh, back from the breakout rooms back here into the main session. One thing that I did want to cover and direct your attention to before we wrap things up uh, for today's session is just some of the state of Illinois employment opportunities that are also available out there. Uh, if you type in state of Illinois jobs, work for Illinois.gov, anything, um, either of those two things will get you uh, to this page. If you type that into Google, when you do, you'll see this landing page here kind of outlining uh, some of the CMS requirements, testing procedures that you might have to go through uh, for any job opportunities that are available. If you scroll down here about uh, mid page or so, you'll see this tab that says job open opportunities, excuse me, open vacancies. If you click on that, that'll take you kind of to this landing page here, which is kind of a career portal for state, uh, for the state of Illinois, excuse me. As you can see here, you can search for jobs by keyword. You can also search for jobs uh, through location. And over here, where we'd like to really kind of direct your attention to, if you look over to the uh, tab farthest to the right here, it says view all jobs. If you click on that, you'll see all of the currently open job opportunities that uh, are available through the state of Illinois, as you can see highlighted here. Uh, 687 jobs that are available through the state of Illinois. Um, this option shows obviously 25 jobs per page. So take a look here. Again, you can narrow your search results through those same types of things, keyword, location, um, so on and so forth. So again, wanted to direct your attention to some of those opportunities that are available through the state of Illinois. Of course, we had a state agency on the call today, DCFS. Um, who went over some of the opportunities that are currently available with that agency. And with that, a uh, few other kind of things that I would like to note here before we kind of end today's session. Um, again, as I stated at the beginning of the session, uh, today's session has been recorded. It will be uploaded to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel within 48 hours. So of course, you'll be able to review that recording. Uh, review any of the information that was covered by employers, of course, prior to filling out those job applications. A uh, huge shout out and thank you to the employers that carved time out of their busy schedules to meet and share information uh, with uh, prospective job seekers, job seekers and veterans, presumably. Uh, thank you all for joining us today as well. And then, of course, huge shout out to the team. Um, over at IDES for providing kind of that manpower that allows us to be able to pull these events off. So again, thank you all so much uh, for joining us today. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and please do plan to join us tomorrow for our second uh, round of events that will cover uh, the northwestern part of the state as well as central Illinois. We will again have um, a session in the morning from 10 to noon, and then another session in the afternoon from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Thank you all very much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.